Hey guys, it's Hugh here, and today we're going to look at how to install ion cube loaders to your DigitalOcean or CentOS server. And you'll notice that when you try to install a plugin that's been encoded with ion cube and you don't have ion cube, you get this kind of an error here. It says plugin could not be activated because it triggered a fatal error. That's because the code is encrypted. And when they when it tries to run the encrypted PHP code, it just fails. So you need to get the ion cube loaders installed in order to um, be able to decrypt the code so it will run properly. And once we do that, everything will be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the ion cube loaders onto your uh, CentOS DigitalOcean droplet. So we'll start by logging into the secure shell. And we really just have to do a little bit in here and then we can go to the website. But here's what we do. So the first thing you want to do is change to the directory of your website. So the, for me that's going to be CD home ICC light. public HTML. So now that's where we're located is home ICC light public HTML or it's be home your domain public HTML whatever you've got on your server. Now once you've done that we're going to go ahead and download the ion cube loaders. Now remember from the previous uh, training you got wget, you got webget or wget installed so you use that to download files and if you're on a 64-bit like I am you're going to use this line here if not you'll use the 86 and I'm going to go ahead and wget the loaders to my web directory and voila it has been downloaded and here we can see the red one right here. Once we do that, we're going to extract the files from that tarball by using this command tar xzvf and then the file name. And you'll see it's going to unload that package and put all the files into a directory. Okay, so that's done. Now it's created a directory called IonQ, which is right here as you can see. Now we don't need this package anymore, so we can go ahead and remove that. RM-F, careful with that command by the way. And so now we no longer have the, the pink file, we don't have the, the tarball anymore. We do have this directory IonQ, so we can see what's in there and we've got all these ion cube loaders for the different kinds of uh, Linux systems that you're going to choose from but the cool thing now that this has installed a PHP file here called loaderwizard.php and of course it's in the ion cube directory so now we're going to go to our browser we're going to load this file here it's going to tell us what else to do. So we're going to go to mywebsite.com slash ioncube slash loader hyphen wizard dot php. So go ahead and type that in the location. And hit enter. And so now we've got this really cool ion cube loader wizard that's going to tell us everything that we need to do <coughs> to finish this up. It's a very smart system so we're going to select one of these and this for me it's a local install I think it would be for you too because you're, you have local root access to the server. Okay so now it's going to tell us you know what what's wrong with the system that we can't that we're not running ion cube right now 
And since the necessary Zend extension line could not be found in the configuration, well, that's because it needs to go into the PHP INI file. And it's not there yet. It says that the correct loader for your system has been found here. So it knows which one of those files here that we're going to need for our machine, right? So it just tells us. So what it, what it wants us to do is copy this file to here. So we do that very easily with a Unix copy command CP. And then the one we need is we can just copy this or we can get it from the secure shell. Just going to put it here, copy there, space, and then the destination directory. Don't get the period. Don't get the dot with it. Okay, and then we just put uh, put that here. So we've not copy. We've got copy this file to this directory. And then I'm going to just hit enter, and it will have already gone there. So if I want to list out what's in this directory now, we're going to see that file in there. So I'll just do an ls-l, and then we have the ion cube loader is in the lib64 PHP module section, which means that the web server can read that when it loads up. So what they do now is they're going to provide a ion cube ini file, and we're going to put it into that same directory here. Or we put the loaders files in there, and actually this ini file will go here into etc. php.d. So you can either upload it by FTP or you can just create that file, and I'm going to do that. To do that, I'm going to change to this directory in my secure shell, like this CD, and then the directory. Might as well see what's in there. Okay, so we've got all these INIs that get read when the web server PHP loads initially, when the server restarts. So we have to put an INI file for IonCube in here. Now you could use uh, FTP. The easiest thing for me to do right now is just to create a new file and paste the contents into it. So I'm going to create this file. Actually, I'm going to first I'm going to download this file here. Then I'm going to have a look at it, open it in edit plus. It's only one line, right? But this, this one file with one line needs to be in that directory. The Zend extension is the um, unencryptor extension. extension. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my secure shell and I'm going to make a file that's called 20 hyphen ioncube.ini. And I do that good. VI 20 hyphen ioncube.ini. And then that's VI. And if you don't know how to use VI, you should look it up because it's how you do text editing on the command line. So I'm going to go Control C I. Now I can insert text. So I'm going to go over here and just copy this line, go back here and paste it in, hit the escape key to get out of the insert mode, and then I'm going to go shift colon right quit. Okay, and I'm going to list it out just to make sure it's still there. I'm going to open up to see if my line's there, and yes it is, so now I'll just with. And so now we have the ion cube INI ready to be loaded with the file server to tell the 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 web server rather where to load the ion cubes, which is in fact right here in this user lib sixty four PHP modules, and that's exactly what the what this says in the PHP INI, the Zend extension is in the, that directory and it's exactly that file. 
Okay. So now we're all done, really. We only have to do one more thing, which is to try it and see. And I'm, I'm also going to have to restart the web server, okay, so just to get everything loaded in. So I'm going to go to Webmin Servers, Apache Web Server, and apply changes. Hopefully there won't be a problem. Looks like uh, it worked fine. I'm going to go ahead and just do it one more time. So you may have to stop Apache like this and then start it again. And now that should apply the changes. Now I should be able to go back to my blog over here and try that plugin again. And it should not give me this error. So let's just do the same one again, which was the one of my GA reader plugins. And it, it is um, encrypted with INQ. So if this installs OK, that means that we're done and we have finished and we're all set. And of course, it always installs, but it's the um, it's the activation that fails. So, OK, I don't know. It's because I didn't delete the previous plugin. So let me just do that first. Sorry, I have to actually completely delete the first one <clears throat> before I can reinstall the exact same one again. So that's done. So then we'll try it again. Upload, choose file, get reader, install. Waiting. And now here's the moment of truth. When we activate that plug and this is going to throw a fatal error like we saw at the beginning. And the answer is no, the plugin is activated. It's working fine. And we do have our IMQ loaders loaded and installed. So that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope this helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Hugh out.